little time here at Power Mods. I've got a bunch of stuff left over from the season, and it's been kicking around the shop for a while, so I kind of want to clear it out. Number one, the Titan helmets. We've gone through a pile of the Titan helmets this year, and we've had excellent feedback. There have been the odd little thing, but that's kind of, you know, par for the course. Uh, but we replace everything that we can, and uh, we're doing our best to look after people. Sometimes there's a little strap that breaks or whatever, but we just send out a new one. Oh, it's pretty cool when you buy enough of these helmets, you get this little box with all these little parts. So we got extra parts for our customers. It's pretty cool. Little knickknacks. You know? We've got uh, remaining helmets in stock. There are some left at the distributor as well. So give us a call. We're going to give you the best deals on these helmets that you can imagine. Uh, hit us up online. Just text me, uh, PM me through social media or on my website. And uh, we'll make sure we look after you. Studs. We've got a lot of 14 1450s uh, and 13250s. And so if you're, uh, you know, an inch and uh, I don't believe it to be an inch and three. It's whatever it is. It's 1.35 and a 1.45. We've got lots of these in stock. They're max studs. They're extremely high quality studs uh, at an excellent price. Now is the time to do it. Now is the time to buy all this stuff. What kind of prices are we going to give on those? So email us through our website and we'll hook you up with a really good deal on that. We have free shipping on all this stuff, right? Um, what else? Clothing. We have some leftover motorfist gear. Uh, don't be afraid of the motorfist gear. This stuff is amazing. This is all uh, current season stuff and we've got amazing prices on this. Just hit me up and, and we'll look after you. I've got um, this nice, nice motorfist, uh, motorfist insulated. It is a size... The 2XL for 200 bucks, completely windproof and waterproof. That, 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 that's amazing. Got this cool fly. This is what I wear when I'm riding. Um, the chest protector has saved my butt, and I've landed and fallen down on all kinds of stuff. And the back protector has protected me as well. Now this is uh, a good time to buy. This this is the old free ride style coat. It's a large. 100 bucks. 100 bucks. Easy peasy, brand new. What else do I get? Uh, small, ins small insulated pants. 150 bucks. And don't forget, these are waterproof and insulated. Like, that's nuts. Um, some of these things are hard for you guys to find, uh, so it's a good time to tell you about it. Double XL Motor Fist um, Sub Zero Gloves. An excellent quality glove. They, um, they're surprisingly warm. For how thin they are, but they do have insulation, of course. So we've got double XLs, we've got some uh, size smalls, and we've got a lot of these CKX gloves. I use these as well. These are a great glove, They're completely waterproof. I haven't had any issues with them in all sizes. Hit me up for those great deals on those. Um, the boots I've been using this year are these Fly Markers uh, racing boots. I, I, I'm kind of blown away by them because of how warm they've been. I have cold feet usually, and I haven't had any issues with these, and I don't even wear those little warmy electric socks in them. And they're completely waterproof because I was in the slush up to here for how long, Kai? For in half an hour. Oh, or longer, because I was walking across the lake oh, yeah. in the slush. My feet didn't get wet. So I'm digging those boots. We've got those. Um, free shipping, of course. Great time to buy. Got a... Oh, wait. There's a new... It's a new style of fly vest as well. It's got this amazing material here. It's like, look, see how flexible and soft that is? But if you, if you strike it with something, it gets hard. And it's a whole, it's got a protective thing on the back. These are great. I highly recommend to everybody that you wear a vest. Vests are super important. I know two guys, two friends personally of mine, who were saved this year, saved their lives wearing a vest. Very important. Uh, one of them was probably me. Oh, I'd me, because I took a hard hit in the chest. Right through the handlebars, knocked the panels right off my RMK. Jetwear, insulated suits. Uh, this is, well, this one's insulated. A lot of these are sold out now, but we managed to pick a few up uh, at the end of the season. This is a size large. I, what size, how do they fit? They fit a little small. So, this was a large. We ended up getting the guy in XL because, because it's insulated. 
Now this is a man's suit. All right. So this is a man's suit. Um, we're going to give these away actually really cheap because um, it's the end of the season. As well as the yellow here. We've got this one is a XL. We've got one XL in the yellow for the high vis they call it. And these are pretty true to fit. I, well, I'm 6'1", and I wear an XL. I wouldn't wear the X, sorry. So I'm, uh, I'm 6'1", 180 right now, and I fit a large in that. So the XL is for a taller person, that's for sure. Um, you know what, I kind of like this color. This is kind of a nice one as well. Is this insulated? Well, this has a little bit of insulation. Yeah, this does. And this is a large. Now, this isn't pink. This is called salmon. It looks bright orange on camera. It does look bright orange it on camera. It will, like, it's look. Hard to say. But well, it, it, it looks messed up. But, like, it looks pixelated. It's It doesn't like that color, this doesn't, camera. Doesn't like that? Doesn't like it. So, it, it, it's called salmon. Uh, when we first ordered these, they were supposed to be more reddish, but they came through at this color. And you know what? Yeah, even in a different light, it looks like a different color. Super deal on these guys. Hit me up. I will give you an excellent deal on these. Uh, we need to clear these out. I've got these in XL. What else? A large. And I have another one. A large. Really good deals on those. I'm not kidding you. The model suits are a really good thing to wear. Uh, even yesterday we were out snowmobiling, it was about plus four. Uh, they offer a lot of breathability, uh, you know, the ones that aren't insulated, and you just sort of wick away that sweat and that moisture underneath. They're a really good uh, thing to wear. This is a Rev 800 pipe, the, um, the Rev style. So I was gonna use this on my sled, but I have another pipe that I found uh, this is a factory replacement pipe, but it's supposed to add horsepower. It is ceramic coated as well. It's an SPI pipe. I think they retail for over $700, $750, $350 for ceramic coated. Just to coat these costs about $150, I think. Maybe a little bit more. Than that. Of course, can't forget these babies. I just got a load of these in. These are all our beaver mittens, just like the ones I wear in the videos. Um, You'll notice that these are darker than most beaver. That's the kind of beaver that we get in our area. Uh, some are more reddish. This one's a little more reddish. Do you see that? Uh, yeah, it's a little more red, right? More red than that one. This one's kind of blackish. And these are all, they have a wool uh, liner on the inside. You keep your hands nice and warm. 280 bucks, no tax on those. Trapped by power mods ourselves. We uh, need to trap on our property and several properties around because of the damage that beavers do. We don't remove every beaver there is because they're part of the natural ecosystem, of course, So, uh, but we do take care of the ones that do need to be taken care of. We just finally got a whole pile more um, Power Mods hoodies and t-shirts in. So we've got every sizing now. So hit me up for those as well. One thing I've been wearing, I have one left. Um, is this this fly coat? This is a large. I dig this coat. I dig it a lot because sometimes you just want to wear a coat. I've been wearing this one. I have one left. Super deal on that as well. Free shipping. Oh, and for every purchase, of course, he gets a whistle. I think these are kind of, uh, you think it's kind of silly, but having these in the back country is a very good thing. Uh, especially when your sled doesn't run and your buddies are trying to find you and you just, yelling just doesn't do it. So those go in and I actually pull this off <laughs> and I use that for a lanyard for my uh, GoPros. Hmm. Durapros? Durapros, yes. I do have Durapros left in stock. I've got some for the uh, Skidoo Gen 4s and some for the um, Polaris 
axis chassis, of course. What else? We've already talked about the RJWC slip-on exhaust. I do have a bunch of uh, snorkel kits left in stock. Renegades, Outlanders, Scramblers, Scrambler um, um, Warriors. The Razor 1000 XP Warrior kit. Uh, the Brute Force. So I got those. I can get more as well. One thing I picked up. Oh, actually, I didn't need to see this. Very cool little product. Torque locker for the Honda 300 TRX. Yeah, the four tracks. So one of those is going in mine, and I am going to sell the two other ones. Right? Hit me up for those. Um, oh, yeah, I've got one uh, Boyson um, water pump kit. I forgot about that. But one thing I do have. I, I bought a whole bunch of Yamaha parts from a dealer that was uh, closing out. So I've got all these parts here. So, clutch. Pressure. Pressure clip. Look at this stuff. Look at this. I bring it. This one's not fancy. That's for a 125, I believe. Um, a 250, a YZ250F, the internal hub, the uh, clutch basket, YZ250F. I think this is, what's this? Titanium header pipe, YZ250F. Brand spank. It's titanium. You know how I like my titanium. can resist. I won't have a chance to buy that. Kickstart kit. Kickstarter kit. Uh, anyway, that's the part number. Retails for 529 bucks. Okay. That's a lot cheaper than that. There's a big board kit here. Actually, you know what that's? This is a TTR50. Uh, it's not the it's not the kit. It's actually somebody bought a brand new TTR50, I believe. Put the big bore kit in it, and this is the TTR 50 parts. Some of you guys might know who can use this stuff. A shame to just see it like, sit around. Look, see, there's a the carb. Gas has been through that maybe once. Um, there's a cylinder. Look at that. It's got all the hash marks in it. Cross hatching. So. Been used as a bunch of plates in there for that. I'll get those away cheap. Cheap, cheap. Voice and reads for 600s and 800s. Cheap, cheap. I'll give you a super deal on those. Um, bunch of pistons. Anybody looking for one of these? Own soup. It's kind of like a wind, uh, wind and waterproof. Pants with it as well. Hundred bucks. Can't beat that for this type, you know, this time of year for ribbon. And I think that's about it. We're gonna shoot another video. What else to tie? Anything else? Of course, we've got some belts left over from the season, and we do have, uh, you know, if you're fogging up your sled, preparing it for the summer. We've got fogging oil here in the, in the shop. Got some gear lube for your ATVs and UTVs. Synthetic oils, 550. Evans, of course. Rev reinforcement kits, if you need those. And don't forget your bite harder. Don't forget your bite harder sharpening carbide uh, tools. But there's one for the studs. And there's one for your carbides on your skis. You look after those carbides, they'll last a lot longer. These, these are fairly inexpensive. Um, you can make your carbides last a long time. And you need them sharp to, to turn and to avoid situations, right? We do have these bags that go on top. Uh, th these are the Pro. These go on the older Pro chassis, so before 2016, not the Axis. It replaces your windshield, but you get to put stuff in there. I think these retail for about 100 and 20 bucks or something like that? 50 bucks? 50 bucks! 
and that's it. Well, these, I did wear these, uh, I did wear this mission helmet the other day. I'm going to make a video on that because this is a groovy helmet. I actually quite like it a lot. It's pretty neat. More to come. Um, like I said, we sort of want to clear some stuff up, so give me a call. Hit me up on my, uh, on my social media or on my website. Dig it. Another thing I forgot to mention, uh, this 39 inch Polaris Axis um, RMK style ARM kit. This is an aftermarket kit that we don't sell, but uh, I did buy it a long time ago. Um, this is, I don't know, just guess it's regular steel, but it's a 39 inch kit. Make a make an offer, you guys can have this real cheap. Ready to go, bolt on. It's not what I usually sell. Uh, but it's been sitting around and I want to get rid of it.